Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, let's see. Thank you so much for the support of my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, links are in the description box below. Um, if you need to book a reading or if you want to follow me on Instagram, do check that out. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, I also have my original channel, Moon Pie Tarot. You can go over and check that out. I've uploaded three month forecasts for the summer for love for Virgo is up there in my playlist. So check the playlist. All right, Virgo. Past energy, Queen of Cups, Ace of Swords, the world, Queen of Swords in the present with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Swords. And in the future, the Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Gee, what a surprise. The Emperor is back again. He is just all over these readings. I cannot even, I'm done talking about it at this point. Now we just expect it. Okay. So we've got, <laughs> we've got Virgo, you have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, And Scorpio. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Now, I'm going to read these queens and kings as energies. Okay. So, male or female, the energy of the Queen of Cups in the past, very nurturing, healing, supportive, tolerant, and empathetic. Let me see something. Because these are about your person. Okay. This person, whomever they are, enjoyed very much, uh, in the feminine energy, enjoyed very much to socialize with um, females, enjoyed very much to, uh, this is a person, this is a people person. Your person is a people person. They're not, they're people oriented, not task oriented, okay? Um, they have a lot of surface, light, fun connections. Um, they, the person in your person in the past enjoy very much like to, um, you know, I have a lot of friends. Uh, if it's a male, they have a lot of female friends. If it's a female, they have a lot of female friends. <laughs> um, enjoys the friendship and has a good circle of support or seeks, a, it was always seeking a circle of support, okay, for a very feminine energy. Okay, this person might have been dating or just, you know, if you're a female and you are involved with a male, this, this male relates more to females than males. Okay, and gets along better with females than males. That's just one message that's coming through. Now the Ace of Swords is here about, oh, with the Queen of Cups again. Hmm. Queen of Cups twice in the past. All right, so... I feel like your person in the past tried to communicate with you, um, was trying to gain, trying to communicate, give you mental clarity about how they felt, like how they truly feel, or to be able to express who they are, like they're internal, um, but also to, I feel like whatever obstacles you guys might have had in the past, the Ace of Swords is a truth-telling card. So I do feel like your person was telling the truth. Um, they did have stress. There were some mental blocks that they did try to overcome. I feel like they may tell you, or they may, I'm sorry, may have told you that they've had some poor judgment about things they've done in the past and maybe that they were dishonest. Every decision that they've made up until the last time you were connecting with them was always emotional decisions, okay? Not cerebral. This person is not cerebral. Um, not when it comes to love, okay? When it comes to other areas of their life, yes, cerebral. Good, strong thinker, okay? That's what that, they have strong clarity when it comes to like, 
every other area outside of their love area. But when it comes to love, they're all from the heart. Everything is from the heart. So basically, like, for example, their mental clarity tells them eating chocolate cake is not good every day, but their heart is like, no, you got to have it. You know, like they feel... It makes them feel good. They've they've always they they go and they've done whatever made them feel good. Okay, when it came to love, when it came like they were people oriented, all about the social and the emotional. Okay, um, and you perhaps didn't understand that why they had female friends if it was a male and you're female or whatever why they needed to connect with others. Um, while connecting with you. And I feel like maybe you had, um, there was a misunderstanding. I feel like this person with the Ace of Swords did try to initiate or try to have the courage to explain that to you, but perhaps, or try to overcome the obstacles. But I, I kind of feel like they didn't do a very good job or you just didn't really understand what they were saying about that because you just didn't like it perhaps. And then uh, maybe on dating sites or social media, that kind of thing. And I just feel like with the world, this person just left or just left it, but also like communicating online for some of you, this person was communicating online with, with others, with the more fem with the divine feminine energies more than the masculines, okay? Of the world here okay yeah make it made them feel good that's that's why they did that that's what i was saying with these two queen of cups here this person is emotionally driven <clears throat> and virgo you're analytical you're logically driven when it comes to the emotions for the most part not all of you but it has to make sense for you virgo love kind of has to make sense in, in some way like there has to be like this, things got to be in order when it comes to love. And this person you were dealing with does not put things in order. You know, when it comes to love, it's like whoever's giving them the love and affection and attention and consideration and the appreciation, that's what they're drawn to. They'll. Does that mean that they'd be disloyal? It can. It can. But it... it it's not necessarily that it, that it would, but I feel like it's, it opens the doors to that instead of, and you, I feel like Virgo, you needed them to just be loyal to you and get all the appreciation from you and all the commitment and consideration and all that, you know, kind of thing. But it feels like to me that in the past, the person, maybe they tried to explain, explain that to you and it, it doesn't really mean anything. Like it doesn't mean that they're not loyal to you or not committed to you. Because I feel like with this Queen of Cups energy, they have a strong support of love for you. They do have a heart for you. Um, and there's Leo energy there as well. I think I said that. And there's just this energy of like, no, I didn't. Did I say Leo? I didn't say Leo. Um, did I say Leo and Sagittarius? Okay, that's on the table. So I just kind of feel like this person, thats they operated out of that, the warmth, wherever the warmth was, that's, the, that's where they went. Yep, Ace of Wands. Wherever the warmth was showing itself, that's the direct, that's what they went towards. Okay, that's what, in, that, that, that was the urge. They would, they feel an urge to be in the light. They feel an urge to be in that sunlight, <laughs> okay? It makes them feel complete. It makes them feel successful and worthy, okay? That's the past energy. You might still be with this person. So the current energy is the Queen of Swords. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, Virgo. This feels like somebody new. This is somebody new. All right, let's take a look. I feel like you've got somebody here new who's got their eye on you. It's not the same person here. 
Oh yeah, look, Knight of Swords. So many new is coming towards you or has presently and you're kind of like, you got your sword up, you're kind of blocking this right now. I don't know why, maybe because this person's coming in very quickly and they're like a fast talker and this person's ready to like make a, a lifestyle change for you, like at the drop of the hat, drop of the hat. And I kind of feel like you're like, yeah, but I don't even know you. Like you have your guard up here. Okay, and this person's coming in like with their sword out and their truth. Even the Eight of Wands represents fast change. So there's somebody coming in here who's got the super, like crazy in love with you. Like there's love bombing energy here. And this is not the, either the past person or whomever you're with. This is someone new getting a lot of attention, Virgo. This person could be traveling from far away. For some of you, this is a friend of yours. Who's coming in to see you and it could be an air sign they have they have something to tell you there's some gossip oh that's it what's the gossip okay five of swords wow okay mm, something to do with abuse um something to do with perhaps some violence you have a friend coming in who's who's coming to see you to tell you like they've come to some truth or they have some clarity they've been looking at their person has been messing around with somebody else and they feel this person's abusive and they want to they, they're trying to get out of this relationship this isn't this is not your past person for some of you it could be it could be your your past person or whoever you're with right now made a huge mistake um, got a little too flirty with someone and, and now this person's like vengeful and um, being abusive or doing some bad things or gossiping or saying things like that. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Eight of Wands is a travel. There's travel energy in the current position. Some news, definitely. Okay, the Hermit. Yeah, this per okay, for some of you, you're, it's a friend or somebody you know or this person you're connecting with right now. Is like coming towards you to get away. They're hiding out. They need a they need a like a, a cave to hide in. Oh, if that's your friend um, or whoever this is, um, my heart goes out to them because it feels like escape. Like they're coming in quick. Okay, um, if this is your person that you're currently dealing with, they maybe there was separation and they were. Or there's some, or you guys, maybe you ended something with them because you felt there was infidelity or what have you, and they may have connected with someone that turned out to be not a good person, not good, abusive, gossipy, inter, inf, infiltrating, um, causing drama, causing problems, and your person, I feel like wants to come back and and it's not like an apology do you know what it's not like an apology energy it feels more like um i forgot to did i pull a um i don't remember if i did the overall energy i think i did i can't remember but if i did well, i'm doing it again the four of swords this person is looking for a re reprieve retreat solitude trying to recover from something okay so that that might be a separate message for some of you but i do feel like um your person's got someone who's showing up that's going to be chasing after them and trying to control them in a very nasty way okay i don't know how that's affecting your relationship for some of you you might know about this already um what this person is like like maybe this is an ex that they went back to or someone that they connected with in the past is showing up in the present to try to put a wedge in your relationship or to just you know come towards you and tell you these horrible things king of pentacles is here 
Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. That's twice. So some of you could be connecting with this, or this person could be showing up here somehow. Um, let's take a look at the future. Okay. <laughs> All right. The Ace of Cups is here. There's a new beginning in love. And I don't know why. Show us why that's showing up here. Mm, seven of Wands. Oh, yeah. Um, this person, whomever you're with, you know, they truly do love you. And I feel like they weren't defending your relationship in the past. That's probably why you disconnected from them or just ended it if you ended it. Even if you're still talking to them, you're just not giving anything anymore. And then all this drama, this stuff comes in, these problems, you know, gossip and um, pe prying eyes and uh, people who want to know stuff, you know, spying and, and communication about just nastiness. The Page of Swords is a nasty energy. It's like a, you know, a 13 year old who talks back to their parents, you know, with that foul mouth. And that's the thing that's coming in here or is in here presently. And I feel like going forward, your person is going to be defending you and your relationship, even though they were the ones who had bad judgment or they were, they were the one who made a big mistake or they were just not, <sighs> you were right, Virgo. <laughs> I just feel like you were right. Virgo's always right. Come on. You were right. Virgo, look at the King of Pentacles sitting here. He's looking on this. That's you. Uh, masculine or feminine energy. You know, you're looking down on this whole situation and you're like, I told you so. I knew. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to come back. And now your person's coming back to like seek salvation. And, you know, whether it's a, a romantic relationship or a friendship. So the King of Pentacles is here again. They see you as someone very stable. Oh, the King of Cups is here too. All right. Now, either you are... <laughs> I cannot believe the amount of court cards on here. Two Queen of Cups, a Queen of Swords, a King of Pentacles twice, and a King of Cups, and the Emperor. Um, I probably just said that twice, but... There's like a lot of drama. <laughs> There's a lot of drama in this friendship and relationship. There's a lot of people involved. And somebody's father is stepping in as well going forward with that emperor. Or there's somebody stepping in here um, who's going to like take control of this whole situation. This is, I feel like, your person or your father or somebody's father. There's brothers and sisters involved, there's siblings, there's friends, there's abusive relationships, the whole thing. You're trapped, you're, I just feel like you're caught up in something. Oh, and now we have the King of Swords, so we'll just top it off. <laughs> we'll just top it off. There's kings and queens. There's a lot of drama happening here. I can't even pinpoint it to one person. You know, uh, there's defending of a relationship. Defending a marriage, defending, you know, a baby. There's something to do maybe with a new baby or a child is involved in this. There's other, other women in the past. There's men in the future, in the present. There's a lot of people. And I feel like, Virgo, you're just standing there looking back on everything like, what the heck is happening? How did I get sucked into this, this drama? That's what I feel. And it includes your person and whomever they would have been talking to, whether it's a lover or a friend, you know, or both. There's just a lot of stuff going on. I, I can't even finish this reading. Um, in fact, I'm not even going to pull any love cards. All I know is that everybody needs like to chill out here. Okay, they're, they're seeking peace right now. We need to like, we all need to step back and go into our prospective corners and just remove ourselves so that the drama and the chaos just stops. There's too much gossip, too much talking. Could be family members, it's too much. Everybody just go to bed. 
just go get a nice good night's sleep sleep on it let's uh, even you you can't you, you're not willing to deal with this okay with all this stuff with the person you love and with a friend and or a friend or siblings or whatever it is it's just everybody's got something to say about your person about your family members about your friend about each other yeah crazy i can't even believe this reading came out this way okay i feel like your advice virgo is to just zip it don't say anything because anything that you say you'll just contribute just keep your mouth shut so nobody can hold anything against you whatever it might be just let it happen and let it just die down or remove yourself from the situation completely i feel like you saw something coming i really do and it could have started with a sister or a friend or a mother um whatever it was virgo your advice is to like just go take a nap remove yourself go meditate go to church go pray just get yourself in like this remove yourself don't fight back just remove yourself thank god it's only 24 hours right but the future is there too and that can go further let's get your angel wisdom messages all right queen of swords brilliant experience humorous judgmental releasing situations or people that do not serve you virgo seeing the humor in difficult situations you might need to just laugh at this whole thing seriously because it's insane focus on your career this could have something to do with divorced or unmarried individuals okay what else wow oh the knight of cups romantic flirtatious introspective and fickle falling in love being swept off your feet a sudden love affair a lack of balance in a relationship situations or topics that make your heart flutter a love of art and poetry okay there might be somebody in here who's like a prince or princess charming that is causing some problems with a lot of different people this person just kind of comes in with the sweet talk and then leaves uh flirtation type of energy it could be connected to that um or somebody had an affair or there was cheating okay that somehow you might be connected to or indirectly connected to but i feel like for you it's like you release a situation or some people that just are causing you more harm than good that's your message here so much for a love reading wow okay nine of cups which is coming true your dreams becoming a reality a magical time of life good fortune faith in the universe that all will be well so i feel like yeah that's what i was saying you need to like go into a place of faith just pray for everybody you know um pray for healing like just let this situation work out because take your hands off the wheel and just stay in faith about this whatever this is i just feel like anything you contribute you're better off staying in the observer position of this whole thing so to protect your mental health so you're not up all night stressing i'm gonna get one more mm, okay four of cups failing to recognize a magical opportunity missing the point the distractions of daily life discontentment or boredom lost in your own world wake up hmm yeah i feel like that's what you are would like to tell everybody or one particular person like you don't know what's going on here you're not a, you're missing the point like you want to there's a part of you that just wants to chime in and give your because you're always right virgo and you want to give your analytical observation and your view you know and tell someone or somebody or people you're you're just you're distracted you got distracted there was cheating um you're discontent you're bored or, or this tell this person you're just bored you know you're in your own world wake the heck up i feel like that's really what you want to say to people like you want to get in there and like fix it or give the advice but or to your person and it's not going to happen you got you're being asked to pull away look ego
the illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation, and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits could be involved here. Yeah, this is a tough situation that's happening here. Very, very tough situation that is bigger than you and you got to break the chains and remove yourself for a little while virgo you need to like i feel pack up your car you know if you have a friend or someone that you're connected to that's in a bad situation um go to the beach with them just get have a getaway Okay, if this is your person and someone's coming in and trying to destroy your relationship, you and your person need to remove yourselves from the family, the drama, the gossip, the friends, whatever. The same if it's just a friend, okay? Um, there's a lot of un unhealthy, toxic stuff happening here because the ego card is the devil, right? And that's all about the toxicity and the drama, Okay, in some kind of situation, you need to turn this around. Like everybody's up in their ego. It's all about them, what they're not getting, how they're not being served. You know, all about their needs. Could be somebody's a narcissist. Could be dealing with that, like that you know of, or just extremely egotistical. And there's problems they may be causing. Okay, um, this is you know turning upside down, leaving an abusive situation getting out of something if it's someone who's very selfish and narcissistic they were out trying to have some fun sexual fun and there's just a lot of problems is this your person i don't think so but if it resonates that you feel like it is then you may need to get away from them as well yeah this is so much drama i mean this could be on general hospital <laughs> or some kind of like daytime program Maybe, maybe this is a story for Netflix or something. <laughs> it's crazy. And I'm not laughing because if you're going through this, then I'm sorry that you're having to deal with this kind of energy. But I feel like, please save yourself, Virgo. Just go take a vacation on the weekend. Go have a road trip. Do a getaway. Just seek your inner peace. And you just can't be a part of this. It'll make you crazy, Virgo. You stress enough as it is. And it will just make you crazier. You know, you won't get your work done. You won't be able to, you know, whatever. It'll affect your children if you have children, right? As soon as you see the first sign of drama, say, oh, I'm out. Oh, if they try to call you, keep calling. Sorry, you know, get back to them after the weekend, after you get away. Sorry, my phone was dead. Lie. Come up with something. You're smart. Okay, here we go. Great reading, I think. Not sure, but it feels more like a warning. I will see you very soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. I love you, Virgo. Take care.